Brand love is important because it begets brand loyalty and long-term commitment. Increasing love is a good strategy for building a committed relationship, whether it is in life or business, whether it's your personal relationship or brand relationship. In other words, both the person and the company would appreciate some love. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Catherine Gahu and I'm an entrepreneur. I've spent many years supporting companies with insight and research for building brand relationships. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscriber button. Following my discussion on brand love in the past, several people have asked me the question, how can I increase or enhance customer love for my brand? I will seek to answer this question in the next few minutes. When you love someone, you tend to be biased in their favor. When people love a brand, they tend to be willing to make great efforts to acquire it. They are willing to wait in line, join long queues to buy it. They buy it repeatedly regardless of other available options that are even cheaper. And they talk about it all the time. They talk about it to their friends. They trust the brand to deliver to their desires. I've had people express that kind of love for various brands in many product categories. There are those who talk about restaurants they can't resist. They talk about hotels they love, and even some talk about bed sheets they can't forget. Many express similar sentiments about brands of wine, beer, cars, phones, iPhones. Of course, we all know the lovers of the iPhone. The others who love perfumes, they say they can't go out without. And, of course, the football club brand lovers. You know, Arsenal, Manu, Chelsea, Bayern Munich and the like. The lovers of these football brands are full of joy and excitement at the moment that the beautiful game is back on the pitch. Someone wrote a comment on my channel that the lovers of these football brands have taken control of the TV remote controls in their homes, much to the chagrin of the lovers of other channels and brands. Brand love helps build deep relationships with customers that are marked by emotional attachment, admiration, esteem, fondness, passion, and all those other words that we use to express love. Research shows that there is a clear route for increasing brand love. Customer brand relationships are just like personal relationships. The attachment develops from continuous interaction and engagement during the exchange and usage process. The way the customer is treated over time during these interactions and how the relationship grows, how especially the frontline people in a company treat a customer, this matters in helping improve the relationship. In actual fact, the way the customer is treated over time determines how the relationship grows from indifference to liking and to loving. It's similar to how we do relationships. You start by being indifferent, you meet this person, you don't know them. So you look at them, you're like, mm, is that kind of person we can interact well? Mm, how will it be like? Then you say, okay, I'll try. Then when you try and you start a relationship, if they feel well treated, then they like. And with time, if other factors are in place, they will start to love. It's a process from being indifferent to liking and then to loving. The three drivers of brand love are one, go beyond customer expectations. The loved brands have mastered the art of building a strong bond. Like good lovers, they go far beyond your expectations. As customers seek products and services to meet their needs and desires and to solve the problems that they face, they have expectations. And these expectations many times come from the brand promises that you have made through advertising, communication, or things that they've had from other people. The relationship they build with a brand will be influenced by these expectations that they have. Research shows that a brand's performance may be below, equal to, or over and above the customer's expectation. When performance is below customer expectations, customers are disappointed and they will dislike 
the brand. When performance is equal to customers' expectations, customers are satisfied and will like the brand. When performance is over and above the expectations of the customer, the customers are delighted and start to fall in love with the brand. You have to work to build on this initial love by being consistent and caring. The second point is to build trust. Like all good lovers, the brands that win the love of their customers know the importance of trust in a relationship. Research by media company Oath revealed that trust is a crucial driver of increasing a customer's love for a brand. Just like people love people that they trust, they love brands that they trust. And loved brands have mastered the art of building trust. Trust means that you are believable. And this is key to helping your messages and communications not only get customer attention, but also get desired action and behavior. When a trusted brand like Nike says to its customers, just do it, what do the lovers do? They just do it. That is the power of trust. The third point is respect. The third way to increase love for your brand is to build respect. Just like a good marriage counselor will tell you that respect is crucial to getting more love from your spouse or your loved one, it's true for brand love as well. Loved brands show respect to their customers and this is reciprocated. Just like a personal relationship, their customers love them back. You all know the power of the words, I love you too. The brand says, I love you by their actions, by their behavior, by the way they treat the customer, by the way they show respect and caring, and then the customer responds, I love you too. A brand can show respect through a caring attitude and behavior. This it can do by being courteous, listening, showing empathy during interactions and engagements. Another way to earn customer respect is to show acts of kindness in your community. And that is particularly important at this time. Think about it. The same way people like people who show kindness to others, the same way people like people who show them courtesy, who pay attention to them, who listen to them, you know, that's the same way customers want a brand to behave. My three ways for increasing customer love for your brand are one, go beyond customer expectations. Two, build trust and three show respect if you follow these three principles the customer is going to fall in love with your brand in due course and the returns will be there for all to see thank you for watching this video remember to subscribe comment and like it so that we can bring you more like it before I close, I have one question for you. What one action will you take in the next few days to build on your love relationship? We all need to elevate our mindsets at this time. Thank you and best wishes.